Okay, Alexis. So first duel, first match of the year. Yep. Did it feel good to get the get that first blow of the lungs out? Oh, definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah. A little nervous, but I think that just happens when you haven't competed in about a year, uh, match wise. I mean, last time I competed was back in February. So, just grateful to compete again. When you come out here and you're able to win a do a, a D1 match, right? Like you, you don't win the duel, but you won a match, right? Mm -hmm. What does that do for your confidence against the Kent State? Uh, it shows me that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Um, I mean, my motto, I'm not afraid of anyone. A wrestling competition is a wrestling competition, and the better man's going to be on top. How does a New Jersey guy, where are you from, actually? Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Yeah. Did I say that right? Perth Amboy. Okay. How do you get from Jersey to Northwest PA? <laughs> it's a funny story. Yeah, well, well, that's why I asked. <laughs> so, my senior year of high school, um, I didn't do so well. I wasn't that great in high school. And I just started applying. I was looking at Division two schools, Division three, Division one. Just picked it at random, Mercyhurst University. I get in the car for my first visit, put it on the GPS. My mom's like, like oh, how far is the school? I look at my phone, I'm like, oh, my God. It's like seven hours away. Oh, my God. <laughs> And by this time, it's like... This is random. Oh, this is random. Random chance. And it's already too late. I'm like, ma, like, I'm going to this school. It's like, there's nothing I can do. This is it. And that was it? Yep. <laughs> and you drove there. And, I, and we drove there. And you enrolled. And I enrolled. I love it. <laughs> Listen, to have that leap of faith type mentality, not everybody's got that adventurous, you know, spirit, right? Mm -hmm. That takes... That's guts, man. That's, that's not easy. Where does that come from? I mean... I don't know, I feel like I've always been like that. Just try different things, just try new things. If one thing doesn't work, there's always something else that will work. D2 has a total parody. Unseated guys win it all the time, mm -hmm. right? What? I don't even know if you have a ranking right now. Do you have a ranking? Uh, I think they got me at 12th right now. 12th ranked guys, 10th ranked guys, 8th ranked guys, not ranked guys, mm -hmm. unseated guys win the D2s all the time. What would it take for you to su surprise people and, and, and turn some heads? Uh, I think just Russell Hyde did my sophomore year. I was in seated at 133 and came out of nowhere in All American. Yeah. So just something spontaneous, something explosive that just needs to happen. And that's the, that's what I'm talking about. Like like that. Like literally, what happened there, mm -hmm. right? It's a sophomore year in All American. Mm -hmm. How many years do you have left with this whole COVID eligibility mess? Uh, I got one more year left. So you'll get this year and then you'll come back for last year. Yeah. It'll be your fifth year? Yeah, it'll be my fifth year. So you'll, you'll get your fifth year. What would you say to someone who last, lost that last year last year? Uh, I mean, I had a couple guys, some seniors actually top ranked, lose it, and, you know, they couldn't come back because they didn't give the year back. Uh, if I had one thing to say is, you know, I guess got to move on in life. You know, there's stuff after wrestling. It's not just wrestling. And you still have the rest of your life after that. Coach Baxter, is, you know, he had a great philosophy. There's still going to be 80 All-Americans. There's still going to be 10 champs. Mm -hmm. They're still going to give four team trophies away. Oh, Why yeah. not you guys? Why not us? Right? Exactly. That's a great attitude, don't you think? That's an amazing attitude. I get it from him. I love it. All right. Uh, where are you guys, Edinburgh next? Uh, we're going to Gannon, where Edinburgh will be there. And I think we're just wrestling Edinburgh. And you're doing a bunch of this travel with, with Gannon, I think. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, you guys do. Much. You're piggybacking on a bunch of stuff. I don't think you're traveling together, but like no, you're, you're there together. It's just all hand in hand. It's there, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's eerie. You guys are both eerie. I get it. Mm -hmm. All right. You got anything else for me? Um, nothing much. Go Lakers. Go Lakers. <laughs> Good luck to you, man. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Later.